gonna do shit but rap about it that's it and don't nobody give a fuck this weird fat fucking jello gelatin biscuit built ass nigga is gonna have the nerve to talk about record sales with Royce the five nine like you don't in no way shape or form qualify to talk about no fucking record sales bruh how? What you done sold without Royce? Y'all done other projects. What did y'all sell? You didn't sell shit because y'all not important. Yo, Royce and Joe, they keep acting like they're bigger than us and they're more important. No, that's that little man complex that y'all got. It's the little man complex that y'all niggas got. Royce ain't never said Crooked Eye and, and Joel Ortiz was beneath me. So stop with that bitch ass bitching and moaning that y'all niggas is doing. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I ain't, nigga, ain't no more respect coming from me. It ain't no more respect. It ain't no more respect. Them niggas been acting like bitches and hoes this whole fucking time and ain't nobody calling them out on it. Ain't nobody asking them niggas the right questions. Ain't nobody saying, why didn't you call Royce? The only... The only answer that came from between Joel Ortiz and Crooked Eye was, I didn't want him to talk me out of it. So all of the fucking respect and love that Roy showed this whole time goes down the drain because you didn't want him to talk you out of it. That's punk nigga shit. That's punk nigga shit. And I'm not going way too hard. Y'all niggas not going hard enough. That's what it is. And I'm sick of it. That's all. I'm sick of it. I pulled a rug. Stop acting like y'all doing something. Stop acting like we all don't know that y'all doing this shit for money. Stop acting like niggas don't got common sense. We all know who the fucking... Who the... Like going into the group. Who knew about Crooked Eye? What did you know about? Who knew about fucking Joel Ortiz? What did he mean? Royce the 5'9 and Joe Button both had classic things attached to their name. Going into the group. Not one time with those accolades did Joe Button and Royce... Well, I speak for Royce. Not one time did Royce say that Joel Ortiz and Crooked Eye was beneath them. Not only that, I was there watching him treat them two goofy ass niggas with the utmost respect the whole time. So it's like, I don't understand, I don't understand how somebody won't even get that. How you won't understand that. You know what I'm saying? They got that, and I know, I know what it is. Me and my little brother was talking about that shit earlier. They got this underdog shit going, where they the underdogs, and you know we just felt like we should give the fans the what they deserve, and Royce didn't want to do it, and Joe were tired, so we just said, fine, we're gonna go off and sneak off on our like any time a grown man is sneaking off and doing some shit, like that's gay as fuck, man. Not like no disrespect, you know what I'm saying? But that shit weak is a motherfucker, bro. And niggas is actually trying to come back me and ask me questions about their actions. How come they can't? Because it make them hoe ass niggas as men. If you publicly going on record calling somebody your brother and then you turn around and say, I didn't talk to my brother about blindsiding them with an album because... Hell, I just didn't want them to talk me out of it. And then people turn around and still ride with the nigga like that's not some whole ass shit. It's like, okay, well, feel how you gonna feel. But understand where I'm coming from when I'm not respecting that shit. Both them niggas is weak as fuck. I'm sick of sugarcoating shit. I'm sick, I'm sick of showing respect. And it's like time after time, these niggas keep doing whole shit. They keep doing whole shit. Joel Ortiz, fat fucking funky, 
stanky ass keep popping up every time he want to promote something. We got an album, huh? <laughs> no pun, no pun intended. And my nigga, Royce, you you was looking sloppy in on the math podcast, like nigga, looking sloppy. You look sloppy every day of your life ever since you could remember. You've always been a fat, funky, nasty, fucking funny built ass nigga, bro. How dare you have the audacity to even speak about something like that? How dare you, bro? That's offensive on so many levels. For somebody of your fucking body shape and stature is going to comment on somebody else's body shape and stature. You, you're not even comfortable in your own skin. Both of y'all niggas a bunch of fucking cornballs in real life. Crooked, I say, oh, we from two different clubs. I'm from this neighborhood and I'm from, so what? Who gives a fuck where you from? If you can't stand in front of a nigga by yourself and talk that shit, then I don't give a fuck where you from. Who gives a fuck? That just mean you only fucking on some tough shit where you come from. Shut the fuck up with that punk ass bullshit, bro. And the people who listening, some people tuned in kind of late. You just hear me ranting about shit. I get it. But those people who feel like I'm tripping, I shouldn't be talking like this about Crooked Eye Joel Ortiz. Ask them niggas why they didn't, why they didn't tell Royce that this project was coming out. Ask them that. And when they don't have a good reason for somebody who's supposed to have been their brother for all this time and then out of nowhere, he just get hit blindsided. If you feel like that shit is cool, we just two different people. You just not a solid person and you accept that shit because a nigga can rap good. I don't accept it from any man, no matter how good he can rap or how well he could play the guitar or how well he could shoot a basketball. Nigga, you gotta be a solid man in life. And if you not on that, I don't give a fuck, nigga. You can go over there and fucking ride away with them weak niggas. Yeah, I know, it's, it, 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 you know. You wanna be like, um, Royce was talking in the straw like it was a mic. Yeah, but it's like, but, but you want to come over here and be Mr. Funny Man, but will you go over there and talk about any real shit? So shut your punk ass up too, nigga. You ain't... I just want to talk about real shit. I don't want to hear nobody being funny. If somebody want to come up on the live and ask me questions, debate, whatever you want to do, I'm with that shit too. You know what I'm saying? As fans, we hate the entire situation, but I truly believe that at some point in life, they will all reconcile. Yeah, well, they better hurry up. They better really hurry up because in a minute, they're going to have to put the gloves on with Vish to come back up to heaven studio. They're going to have to put them boxing gloves on and we're we going to, yeah. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what none of you beta male ass little fuck boys is talking about. It's only you, but nigga, shut your gay ass up, little puss. Hold on, let me see. My nigga Rain up here. Oh, hold up. Bring it daddy up too. And I know I'm, you know, apologies from LGBTQ community for me saying that. I mean that with no disrespect. I just mean for those guys, it's... It's rather weak. Did you come up, Daddy? Yo, what the fuck? Yo, what's good, my G? I just seen Wino Willie popped in, bro. Don't think that I'm not recording. I recorded over damn near every beat that you sent. I just want to finish it before I can before I can send it off. What's up, my guy? What up, bro? Man, that shit. Oh, little, that bro, shit. little bro, back in here. He up? He up there? Yeah, bro. Tap, little bro. Tap in. Yeah, yeah. I thought you mean he was up at the at the, at the still with you. Daddy, no, you're not blocked, nigga. 
You just don't want to come up. You ain't blocked. And Man, that's some, you can be blocked. If they block you on your page, you ain't gonna be blocked on mine. Hey, that's some cornball shit, bro. Them niggas is both cornball. Uh, I see uh, you, Maria. Yeah. It's cool for you to tell them everything I'm saying. I think both them niggas is a couple of fuckboys that would never, ever in a million years, especially Joel or T. Especially like nobody even talked about him. He, he hasn't, I think he upset because he has not mattered this whole time. He been the least talked about person of this whole shit. You get what I'm saying? And he on there acting like he halfway mad at somebody talking about records. Record sales? How in the fuck can you have that conversation with somebody? Yeah. You, it's plenty of people you can't have that conversation with. Plenty of people. You want to have that talk about Roy when he re-putting out some shit that's already been, been dead numbers? Shut your fat ass up, you fucking clown. You would no. never in a million thousand years Come in front of Royce and say anything like that. Just like you said Joey was going to pay for what he said, and you saw him, and what y'all did. You talked about it. Because that's all he built to do. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear none of that fucking funny shit just because you trying to roll out a project and you feel like you got to defend the whole shit y'all punk niggas did. Fuck y'all niggas. Right, right. Go back and tell them I said it. And and all they gonna do is threaten a diss record. Ain't none of them niggas trying to do nothing else. So fuck them. Now go and tell them I said it. Mm. Pussy ass niggas. Hey, the 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 only problem with that, the or well, not the only, but the biggest problem, bro, is like I said, is. You've been getting money with somebody. You've been building something for years. You've been around somebody a lot of days in your life, bro. Before you did that, a phone call should have been made. People got, you can email somebody. You, you can, can text you somebody. You can't, bro. You can't. You can't. Hey, everybody run. You, you got to do that. You're taking the stand, right? No, I said this should have been done before. Clearly, before. clearly it's money, right? Yes. Yeah. Clearly it's money because for some reason, this deal that, that, Tony brought to Crooked that Crooked is acting like he came up with by himself. Tony brought a deal to Crooked. Crooked passed the message along. That's why there was no contracts involved. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? He passed, he passed that shit along. So something happened because this deal was just, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to take this deal. We got to take this deal. And when niggas not moving fast enough for him, oh, okay. And everything that niggas built, everything, I get it. You got an issue with Joe Button. You never had an issue with Royce. You, right. you have to call him. You call him your brother. You have to call him. Got to. Got to. Saying that that's my brother. You owe it got to him to call him and say, yo, this is how I feel, bro. I don't want you to talk me out of it. This is what I want to do, blah, blah, blah. Got to. You at least owe him that phone call. Got to. You got to. Trying to talk like you don't owe that phone call makes you a bitch ass nigga. Got to both of y'all. It's too many modes of communication to not to not have done that before you jump before you jump off the roof. Before it you jump off the roof is. and do that move, you can you can do that you can do that first. It is what it is. That's why That's I, I, look at, I look at them niggas like they corny, like they getting cornier by the day. Yeah. And now, if we're like I said, about some reconciliation. We not, we not. We, listen, we not gonna. This is what we not gonna do. Y'all niggas ain't gonna fulfill y'all album uh obligations through contract to do the bitch shit that y'all did, and then after y'all do what y'all obligated to do, then it's like, oh, all right, now we're about to talk. Mm -mm. No sir, yeah. no sir. And at this point, at this point, it's right here. It's at this point where. Royce feel how he feel, but Vish feel how he feel. Now, I'm a grown-ass yeah. 